This conference will now be recorded. So, so far what we did, we created the asset master in GUI screen. Now let us try to create the asset master in the S4 HANA Fury screen. Now, if your users are creating the asset master or if your users are working, they will not be working on GUI screens. Majoritily, they will be working on Fury screens. This is what is your Fury screen. On the Fury screen, you will find a different, different headings here, groupings. From this grouping, you will be creating different, different roles, different, different grouping catalog according to the business requirement. Let's say for a user who is working on fixed assets or asset accounting module, you will be creating a tile called fixed assets, something like that here. The way you are able to see current settings, master data. Likewise, likewise, we will be creating a catalog called fixed assets. Under that fixed asset catalog, you will find different tiles related to fixed asset related module. If you go down to check fixed assets, here you have different, different transactions under master data. But when you're actually working in a real environment, you will be creating a different group on the top. These are all called as catalogs. You will be creating a fixed asset grouping on the top. When you click on fixed asset, you will be able to see the fixed asset related transactions like create asset, display asset, change asset, the way you are able to see on your screen right now. Let's say you want to create an asset. For that, your user will go to this tile called create asset. If you click on this create asset, this will open that particular transaction on the Fury screen. Now, if you notice this, and if you notice this GUI screen for AS01, this AS01 and this screen, do you find any difference or they are the same except the appearance? Any difference same. do you find? They are the same because this is Fury screen with GUI transaction. Now, if you want to check how this transaction is coming, whether this is a GUI based transaction or Fury based transaction. Normally, all your Fury based transactions will begin from manage think. Majority of the Fury exclusive tiles or transactions will begin from manage title. Now, for you to check whether this is Fury exclusive or GUI based transaction, you need to click on this user profile on the right hand side. You find the user profile here. Click on the user profile. When you click on the user profile, you will find an option called about. Go to user profile, click on about. When you click on this, you will come to know the technical name heading here. You need to look at the technical name heading. Under technical name heading, if you find the transaction code in bracket T code, this is GUI based transaction, which means there is a T code. This T code works exactly the same in your GUI. Whatever you're able to see, whatever you're able to do here, everything as it is, you can do it on Fury screen without any change. Clear? Now I'll say, okay, I'll try to create one asset. What is the asset class we have created? We created D10,000. Furniture and fixtures, I have selected asset class, company code, number of similar assets one, and I'll click on master data at the bottom. On your GUI screen, you have master data at the, bot at the top. Here you have master data at the bottom. Click on master data. You will get screen like this. I will put Fury Furniture 01. Just for the identification, I'm giving this description like this. Main text. And then come down. Nothing under time dependent. Let me put cost center. DEIN 01 1001. And then I'll go to depreciation areas. Everything is as usual. Depreciation start date, I'll put 01 06 2023. 
from current month starting onwards i want to charge or start calculating depreciation for this press enter and then proceed to save the asset now asset has been created do you find any difference in creating the asset master from goi screen and fury screen or is it the same same sir it is the same so keep in your mind when somebody says that you have experience on fury and all don't get scared don't get afraid it is the same in fact working on fury is more simple than working on gui you don't need to remember the transaction and all you can simply search with the create asset you will get the relevant tile for create asset you can also search with the transaction code but it is more easier than your gui now asset has been created after creating the asset what we normally do we display the asset for displaying the asset you have another transaction code as03 either you can search transaction code here click on this search icon you can type as03 here the test version fury screens will work a little slower but in the real time this will work very fast so no buffering nothing will happen in the real environment so this you'll have to compromise so it 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 takes a little time to load so instead what i will do the other way around okay i think it has come but okay i hit enter as03 it says pop up block let me give the permission okay as03 search again it will give you the result of as03 related tiles that are available on fury screen So while that gets loaded the other thing that you can do is you can also go to more from here you can display let me close this so our asset number is 14 times 01 i am closing this because it is taking a little time from the main screen i'll go down i'll go to this master data category under master data category let me go to display asset you'll find the tile here display asset the same like this you will be able to see the tiles on your real time fury environment you do have to go to find display asset click on this now for display asset in your gui transaction code is as03 here also it will be the same to check if if this is a fury based transaction or gui based transaction you need to click on user profile here click on about if you find a t code this is gui based transaction it is exactly the same how you use t code click on okay put this asset number press enter this is how you will be able to check the asset master on the fury screen next one after creating the asset we created vendor invoice for creating vendor invoice let us go to another screen accounts payable posting let me check if we have that category here in this selection you have at the last down arrow mark if you click on this down arrow mark it will give you more group from this select if you have anything related to accounts payable reports since they have assigned so many tiles it will take time to search and then give you the result supplier master supplier evaluation somewhere you will find or you can also search with 
asset acquisition f-90 let's put only f-90 check if you get any tile displayed here you will also find the tiles here now if i put f-90 i am getting an icon here post acquisition integrated accounts payable without purchase order can you see this here if you put t code you are able to get you can also search with the same text post acquisition like this select this and you will be taken to f-90 screen now on the top you will see acquisition from purchase without sorry with vendor header data let me show you f-90 on gui screen do you find the same same screen here Correct? This is your F-90. On Fury also you will see F-90. To check the transaction go to user profile about F-90. Let me pass the entry from here. I will pass it on current date. I will put Fury asset 31. I will take any one vendor open the drop down let me pick any one vendor ok enter if you see this is working faster or slower it is not getting stuck anywhere this will work exactly the way you work your GUI screen 70 our asset number was this copy put this asset number transaction type 100 enter same amount star same text plus enter enter and then go to simulate for simulate you need to go to more document on your GUI screen straight away you can check you can see the menu buttons on the top document edit go to and all are directly appearing on your GUI screen if you are not able to see them on fury screen or in latest version of a GUI you will find the same option called more you need to click on this more if you click on the more you will find all the options that are available on your GUI screen to simulate we will go to more document simulate click on simulate enter for this warning message this is what you are able to see now here it is showing only one line item second line item it is not displaying because of the screen resolution okay the font size screen resolution is more for that reason it is not showing for sometimes if it is displaying like this what you try to do is you try to reduce the zoom zoom if you try to reduce now you are able to see the second line item if I try to reduce the zoom, can you see both lines now? Yes, sir. Right. So when it is not displaying properly on your Fury screen, it is about the screen resolution. It is not able to fit everything on the screen with the current resolution. What you need to do is reduce the zoom of the screen. Then it will display as usual. So at 80% it is displaying at 90 it is not displaying no at 75 percentage it is displaying both the line items clear huh? if it is not displaying what to do even if your user is telling i am not able to see the complete records on the screen simply tell your user to reduce the zoom of the screen got it now this is your normal simulation next one you have simulate general lecture for that go to more document simulate general ledger whatever i am doing i am doing it on fury screen not on the gui screen let me go back and let me click on asset accounting now enter this is what is your asset accounting simulation both operational view and technical view go back now let me post this entry enter enter the document is posted 
how do you display the posted document you will go to transaction called fb03 same thing i will do here i will search with fb03 so it will take a little time on the test servers but this is not the case in your real server it will work in the same way exactly the same no changes but that will be a little faster so fb03 you are not able to see anything if una if you are unable to see anything what you do from the more go to document click on display so you will be on the display document screen this is what the document that is displayed now next one let us verify the asset numbers for that we used asset explorer aw01n transaction from the display document itself at the bottom you will find asset values if you click on the asset values you will be taken to asset explorer screen now this is the screen if you go to top menu about what is the t code it is showing as03 because we have been redirected from as03 to here otherwise what you can do you can simply search aw01n here if i put aw01n i am able to get asset values tile here let me click on this asset values okay this asset values will take you to the same transaction asset explorer of your gui whatever you see asset explorer on your gui it is the same screen if i go to gui aw01n are we able to see the same thing on gui on and on your fury correct huh? yes sir now you can check the posted values everything will appear as usual there is no change in this if you understand what you are doing on ecc sorry on gui same thing you will be doing it on your fury screen there are certain tiles which are fury specific that you will be able to know when you go to this about if it is a fury based you will not find transaction code here you will find a program name here fury based program now close this let me go back normally on your gui screen how do you navigate from one transaction to other transaction based on transaction code correct yes based on transaction code we will go to from one screen to the other screen am i correct on your gui yes sir, yes, sir. now let's say you are working on fury you are working on fury but you want to navigate the same way like you use your gui let's say if i go to screen this is what i am getting i am able to put a transaction codes here if i hit here i am able to come to easy access and all now you can view all these things on your fury also you can view your complete sap easy access everything on fury also it is not that whatever is appearing on your fury tiles catalogs only that you can view complete gui screen your spro configurations also on your fury screen for that what you need to do is open any one fury tile which is gui based let me open any one fury tile which is gui based let's say i am on this this is the gui based from here let me go to more if i go to more can you see this is setting called gui actions and settings can you see this now this will be editable this will be available only when you are on gui based transaction on fury screen clear huh? go to any gui based transaction and from there go to more click on gui actions and settings go to settings from here go to settings when you click on settings you will find interaction design 
can you see this interaction design in this you put show ok code and show buttons with icons these two things you have to enable clear what to do and you should also make sure these two drop down list is enabled so that you get the codes there to get GUI options on your fury screen understood what to do yes no interaction design yes, enable this ok code click on save and now you will find an option here this has been enabled can you notice this on the other screen it is not there but in this screen you see this now if I put slash n and if I press enter or if I put AS02 it's not going inside enter I think it's loading display asset enter it's not responding now let me put slash n spro now you see it has responded here it is taking time here now i can see spro sap reference img here on my fury screen correct can you see your complete spro screen on fury now if you want yes. to create company code gl whatever you can open here you can do your configurations from here let me open financial accounting general ledger accounting let's say master data gl account preparations retained earnings account for example open this chart of account is D E G R let's say X Y I don't want Y let me delete this Y come here delete this Y click on save it is giving you the prompt for TR and everything same like your GUI agree click on save now if somebody is asking you can you do configuration on fury what will be your answer yes no yes yes sir. somebody is asking you can you do config on fury without any hesitation tell yes so if they ask what is the changes between s4 ana and fury no changes in fury you have some fury specific tiles which are not available with your gui there are certain things let's say if i show you Now, if you see here, there is something called manage allocation, manage profit center group, manage profit centers. And here you see manage business partner, manage credit rules. Now you are able to see everywhere there is a term called manage. Yes, sir. Now, wherever you find a tile starting from manage, majoritily all the manage related tiles are fury specific there is no transaction code for it these tiles can be accessed only on fury screen not on gui if i open manage profit center normally to create a profit center where do you go what is the t code to create a profit center ke 51 now this is manage profit center not create profit center let me open this manage profit center Now this is your manage profit center screen. I go to user profile. I'll click on about. Do you get any T code here under technical name? No, sir. No, sir. Right now I'll show you one more screen here. Let me go to asset values.
and from here I'll click on the same thing about now if you see here technical information it is giving aw 01 and in brackets T code yes sir correct huh? now if you find a technical name T code this is a GUI based transaction this is available on both fury as well as GUI without any changes on the other side when you see this this is not a T code this is giving fin dot gl dot profit center dot manage dot v2 this is a fury based program there is there will be no program no abap coding available in GUI screen for it this is developed by the different domain altogether and this is applicable this is available only on the fury screen and these kind of reports which are available exclusively on fury will work faster than GUI transaction because they don't have backend ABAP coding lengthy logics and all this will work in a different approach now here also you can create profit centers this is your manage profit center if I put our controlling area DEGR and if I click on execute valid on today it is not displaying anything controlling area is this filters valid on today go so it's not giving any display here maybe authorization some error let me go back and let us verify some other managed reports sir uh, one question sir if the client is using ecc or s4 ana does they want to specially migrate to fiori or else uh, how it will be perfect whoever is using s4 hana majorly they will be working on fiori only not gui okay okay if somebody is using s4 hana majority of the cases users will not have sap logon pad your user systems will not have sap logon pad users will have only browser and in the browser you will just ask them to bookmark like this development quality production user will bookmark only quality and production whenever they want to log into sap they open the browser they click on like this production and it will open like this whatever they want to do they will do they will be able to see all the options like this and if user is previously experienced on sap they are not comfortable with this you will tell them to enable this ok code when they enable ok code on the gui screen any one gui screen if they open if they put ok code the moment you open this or let me now here if you see something called design studio is coming correct yes sir now this is again fury specific report if you get manage if you get a design studio these are all fury specific transactions or reports not available on your GUI so first time these things will take a little time I think there are some error messages at the bottom could not initiate the data source this is because these are all third party managed servers so they may not be activating all the functionalities or not every functionality will work in this there are different components will have to be activated to load the fury type those will be the reasons and if I go to back now you are able to see here let me put slash in enter It will it will go to easy access also one minute. You can check. Block asset. If I go to.
if I put only slash n, it's it's going to home page. Let's put OK code again. But otherwise, you understood, right? How do you open all this? Yes, sir. SPRO. Yes. And the total configuration you can do from this also. You can try creating one company code completely from Fury screen or try whatever we have done from Fury screen, but you have to be a little patient. Because sometimes it may take a little time to load that you have to manage. Right now, let me try removing this. So buttons with this one, let me remove. Let me go to slash n. not taking inside one sec I want to show you GUI easy access screen just if you go back no it's taking to the fury launchpad home page there is a code shortcut for it so that you can view the SAP easy access. All right, that we will see later on. Any doubts so far on the asset creation on your Fury screen? Slowly you have to start practicing whatever you have done on Fury screen also. Try to post a document, try to display reports on Fury screen also so that you will be familiar and when you are in the interview, when you are in any project, you will not have any kind of confusions. Same things you will see wherever you work, whatever the project, whatever the client you join. Same things as it is you will see. No differences. 100% exactly the same what you are seeing, you will be able to see in any project. If you see any other reports, let's say journal entries. Post general journal entries. If I open this in new tab. Let us check if this is your GUI specific posting screen or Fury specific posting screen. Now that takes a little time to do this. Now post incoming invoices now whatever you're able to see here everything is available on your normal screen also but in fury you will find two type of transactions same thing it can be processed via GUI based transaction and the same thing it can be processed via fury based transaction but you have to identify which one is fury based which one is GUI based now, if you see here, to the extent whatever it has loaded, do you find the similar screen on GUI? Yes, sir. GUI. Now, this has loaded. Do we have this screen on GUI to post the journal entries? We have F-02 mm -hmm. FB50. Right. Now, if I go to this to find out about this application, is this Fury based or GUI based? Fury. Fury this based. is Fury based. Right. Now, if you want to pass an entry here, you have to practice posting entries in this Fury screens also to be able to make sure you are confident enough to answer, to face any kind of a situation you come across in your interview or in your project wherever. 
if you are not practicing these kind of things then we may have to struggle a little because all of a sudden you may feel that I have not seen this before so that kind of things should not be there it should be only that you have not worked real time but whatever you know is real time the only difference should be you have not worked practically in a project but whatever you are practicing whatever your understanding should be real time now if I put a GL account here let's say I want to put rent it's not loading but Normally in query screens, you can load this. Let me type rent. Nothing is coming. Star rent. Nothing is coming. So I'll search in this rent. Nothing is coming. Admin. So you get one option here. Admin. Now you are able to notice how I am searching, what I am searching on the screens. Rent I have given. Next I want to give bank or I will give any other thing. Let's say I want to see the full GL accounts. D E G R. I did not show any result go conditions GL account contains it is asking okay any other account we have created outstanding okay outstanding wages let me take debit i'll put 100 credit i'll put 100 now is this easier putting debit credit instead of putting posting key 40 posting key 50 this is easier or your posting key way is easier this one is easy sir this one is easy right even those who are not from accounting background can also pass the entries if i come here debit credit now you will find a red symbol here which means item is incomplete there is some mandatory field which we have not filled up so you need to find this is a cost element let me put cost center d e i n 0 1 1 cost center now it has become green and after giving all this information you can put whatever the other let's say reference Fury posting here also header text Fury posting line item text you can give here text here also test after this if you want you can keep on add additional account by pressing plus here if you click on plus it will add another line item likewise you can add 999 line items once you are done click on simulate at the bottom left bottom right and then it will show you the document in the simulation mode now the way that you are posting the transaction is purely fury based transaction not gui based transaction when you post few entries when you use the screens couple of times it will work faster so you will get used to fury screens also and this is mandatory for you to become comfortable and confident with the system now this is what it is showing in the simulation mode posting line item number one line item number two office and administration expenses debit outstanding wages credit here it is shows debit 100 credit 100 clear huh? if everything is fine you can click on post Now you get a message at the bottom journal entry posted. Now this is the entry. This is a showing in entry view. If you click on the drop down, you will get leading ledger. You will get non leading ledger. This is the representative ledger that we created for asset accounting purpose. Clear?
now anything that you are seeing as a strange thing or you are able to relate to everything easily whatever i am doing on the fury screen you are able to relate to the relate to the things or you are finding it something new that you are seeing for the first time comfortable or it's difficult to understand comfortable sir this is comfortable and this is where you will be working in any project that you join most likely because most of the projects are s4 hana most of the users will use fury screens only not the gui so you have to be more comfortable with fury screens and you have to be equally comfortable with the gui screens because nobody will ask you whether you are comfortable with the gui or not because without gui because everybody will get into sap considering or projecting some experience you are not going to go to the market stating you are fresher to sap first time you are going to work for you only anybody is going to say that no right everybody will tell i have some experience agree if if one has experience that experience must include gui experience am i correct yes sir if you have experience your experience must contain gui experience because sap fury is something which is new in the market not every client is using as of now those who are on sap s4 hana they will only be using but there are lot of clients who are still on ecc who are still on s4 hana they may not be using fury tiles much but as a pico consultant in the present market to make sure that you are at the leading position you will have that additional weightage edge in your interview make sure you are comfortable with both ecc s4 hana plus fury screens it's not about theoretically you are comfortable you have to be comfortable practically when you see things practically when you do things when you experiment things practically you will automatically gain the confidence you will talk automatically you will explain you will project your thought process automatically in the interview so they will easily understand that you have practical knowledge on the system you worked on the system because after seeing after experiencing after practicing on the system the way you talk will automatically get changed am i correct once you see all these things if somebody is asking you do you know how to pass an entry in fury you will not be blank you will tell that in fury you can pass in two ways gui based this based you can also do configuration in fury if somebody is asking how do you do config in fury it is not allowed you will tell why this is not allowed this is allowed because you have practically seen it you have practically done configs on the fury screen when you do all these things practically automatically you will gain the confidence that confidence is what you require and from now on that is what your target whatever you do you have to practically get into the system experience it it's not about i am showing something and then you are watching it 3 4 times is not going to give you confidence you have to log into the system open the screens check face the errors only then you will be able to understand if you are facing any problems if you are facing any errors i am there to help you we have different people in our group who have already practiced who are practicing more they will be able to help you but you have to put your effort if you put your effort i am here to help you we have different people are in our group to help you out but you have to take the initiative you have to take some time to practice to experiment no other option no other shortcut right the intention is not only to clear your interview intention is to make sure you work without any problem you work without any any fear nobody will be able to point out finger at you stating you do not know anything even if somebody says or even if you tell to somebody that you are a trained candidate the other person should not believe so you that should be your target if you tell somebody that no i don't have any experience i have just completed my training nobody should believe you when you tell that 
so that is possible only when you talk in a different way keep only that point as your target keep only that one point as your target ignore about your interview project nothing everything is keep it aside the target is when you talk to somebody when you tell that you are a trained candidate the other person should not believe you if you put efforts considering this as your target you will see what what is going to happen i don't want to tell the other things you will practically experience what will happen how you will feel about it right most of the times when somebody talks to you when maybe you would have interacted with your friends and all when you ask them a doubt when you ask them a question the way they answer the way they tell most of the times you will get disappointed you will not be convinced am i correct correct sir most of the times when you discuss with your friends or somebody whatever they are explaining to you they may be correct from their point of view but you are not convinced anybody faced this problem anybody experienced this i'm only talking about within your friends within your network yes sir right now the same thing is going to happen in your interview when now you do not have any practical experience on sap but still you are not convinced you are not happy with what the other person is talking about imagine if you are going to talk the same thing in the similar way in your interview your interviewer also is not comfortable is not convenient is not convinced with your explanation they will simply reject you but we will not understand why we are getting rejected because according to us we have explained correct thing if you talk technical point of view what is the t code how do you configure these basic points your explanation is correct but from convincing point of view what you need to tell what points you need to add how you have to project to convince the other person is what you are missing all right so that is where you have to focus if you are able to focus on that interview is nothing your target is not interview your target is interacting with a user interacting with a client tomorrow if you are in a project you have been asked to take a requirement you have been asked to support a user on any one issue whether you have that confidence to call the user and then explain what is the problem or to provide a solution understand where the issue is coming because all the time we always think about clearing the interview most of the times most of the people will focus only on clearing the interview that is where we are first failing in our sap fico job search if your mind is focusing on i want to clear my interview you will never clear your interview because your focus is only on clearing the interview which is a 30 minute activity for 30 minutes activity you are mixing things in a different way which will lead to unwanted confusions wherein you will not be able to talk anything literally you will go blank in the interview literally you will go go blank in the interview because your mind is full of confusions because you know about all the topics but you are unable to explain on any topic am i correct it's yes, not sir. that you do not know anything you are aware of most of the topics but especially when you are sitting in front of somebody if somebody is asking you a question you are unable to answer even if you answer you are not able to answer confidently this is quite common for most of the people because we know only the half information you know only the half information probably 3 4 lines about a topic but nobody is taking your interview to know your 3 4 lines everybody is taking interview to check your understanding knowing the things is different understanding the things is different if you know the things you can read whatever you know if you understand the thing you can explain what you understand you can explain in different example if i am not able to understand what you are explaining you will know that okay he is not able to understand what i am talking you will try to change your explanation you will try to give me different explanation different example correct huh?
if you know that i am not convinced i am not okay with your explanation you must be in a position to judge on the spot that whatever i am talking the other person is not understanding he is not okay with it and this point this mindset you have to have right in front of your interviewer if i am taking your interview if i am asking a question you are giving me the answer you must be able to judge whether i am okay with your explanations or not that you can easily figure out with my answers with my cross questions but instead what we all do we will all ignore about how your interviewer is asking the question you will only think from the question and then answer point of view you will answer you will come back you will start thinking that i should get a call that i have been selected but instead you can decide on the spot that your result will be okay or not okay don't wait until your interviewer tells don't wait until your hr tells you must have that confidence that whatever you answered is correct the other person will be convinced and you have to have that confidence if you are able to talk at that confidence level even though if you talk little here and there incorrect answers if you are not comfortable with certain topics you will still get selected because you are confident enough in most of the topics or in your explanations you are comfortable confident about what you are talking otherwise what will happen in most of the interviews whatever the questions you get for certain answers that you give you get a standard question that are you sure you worked on this kind of issues what is your client requirement how did you manage the issues or what kind of support you have taken from your seniors if you get these kind of a cross questions these questions sound very simple silly but the way you respond to these questions will decide your result because we feel these are all very simple easy questions they are asking these are easy questions correct but the answer is difficult when i say answer is difficult let's say i am asking you a question have you created any journal entry if i tell have you created any journal entry you tell yes i have created a journal entry when you create a journal entry how many ledgers it will update you will tell it will update all the ledgers if you tell how it is updating all the ledgers then you will be blank how it is updating all the ledgers you may have answer on this spot or you may not have answer on this spot correct because you are not expecting somebody will go to that extent they will ask these kind of a questions is this a basic questions or any complicated question when you post a journal entry how many ledgers it will update is this any complicated question very basic sir very basic but all of a sudden can we answer as most of the times for these kind of a basic questions we will not be able to answer because these kind of a questions these kind of a points will never hit our mind during your preparation we will be always behind there are five six key topics we will be behind those topics only what is this what is that config what is the t code what is the table and all that is not things that you need to prepare for your interview those are the things that you must know for your interview but it is not that only with those five six topics you will be able to clear your interview everybody knows every interviewer knows every person who attends interview knows there are certain topics which are mandatory in your interview like your app document splitting asset accounting taxation integration everybody knows this agree correct huh? everybody knows these are the important questions these are the mandatory questions in your interview now if we feel that we are smart that only these questions are asked in your in your interview the person who is taking your interview is also smart equally than you he is also smart i if i am taking your interview i know that definitely you would have prepared document splitting app asset accounting integration and all i am not going to ask you those questions 
even if i ask those questions i will not ask in a direct manner i'll i'll put those questions indirectly those are nothing but your scenario based questions tricky questions question is from app question is from asset accounting question is from your integration you know all the syllabus but the question the moment you listen to the question you will go blank you have no answer even though you know the answer you will not be able to explain it in a proper way you would have practiced the topic so many times but for a particular question from the same topic which you practiced 10 times you will not be able to answer correct huh? you know the screen you know everything that they are asking but still we find it difficult to answer just because just because the way you prepared is different the way your interview happens is different when we are practicing our focus is on what configuration correct huh? most of the times where do you focus when you are when you are practicing what is the configuration what is the transaction code what is the menu path is this what the primary con primary focus of anybody am i correct yes no yes sir right and second mistake that we all do during your practice is you depend on the document you depend on the material this is the second mistake that everybody will do this is the second mistake that everybody will do first mistake is depending on the configuration steps the transaction code path second mistake is depending on the document or material as long as you are dependent on these two points you will never get the knowledge you will never get confidence you will never understand the logic concept behind what you are doing that is possible only when you keep these two points aside practically if you if we both talk openly if you wanted to do the configuration based on the document based on the material do you get this configuration documents materials for free of cost on the google or not yes no you name any topic on sap fico do you get a configuration document with a detailed step by step screenshots on google or not pdfs yes sir agree but still agree but still we will ask for configuration document we will still ask for materials which means we are not practically thinking what we need to do how we need to apply our mind to be a consultant as long as you are dependent you are you know looking for a document you are looking for a material you will never learn you will never understand the topic learning understanding topic is different from configuring a topic anybody can do configuration even if i take somebody who is doing 8th class 9th class who knows basic computer operation if i give them the document if i ask them to log into sap if i tell them to do all this configuration can somebody who knows basic computer operating will they be able to config system by looking at the document or not yes no if somebody knows basic computer operation if they look at the computer doc your configuration document will they be able to config on sap or not if somebody knows basic system operations operating easily sir easily anybody can do it but but the mistake that we all do at the beginning is the same thing you should not follow any document you should not follow any material because it is open fact everybody has to accept you cannot carry any material you cannot carry any notes to your interview at the same time to your office to your interview can you carry your material your notes recording videos
allowed is that allowed or not allowed in your interview material documentation is allowed recorded videos with a laptop yes no not no, allowed not allowed can you carry your course material or documentation anything to your office when you join a company and any work that you that, that they give you you open your material document and then do it is that allowed for everything if you are opening the material and then working no sir not allowed not allowed or you take the material document secret it to the office you keep it outside maybe in your bag or somewhere whenever an issue comes you go outside you open the material look at what is there and then you come inside silently you open and then work is that allowed is that allowed or any issue that you get for everything you open google or youtube you search in the youtube google and then you work is that allowed yes no at some point of time you have to work without looking at any material without opening google without opening youtube without referring anything am i correct yes no that is what you have to do right when you are in an organization when you are working as a consultant because you may be working with different people you may be sitting with your client you may be sitting with your user you may be sitting with your project manager you may be sitting with your senior consultant or somebody if you are opening material document youtube google and then searching for every basic thing everybody will get a negative impression you do not know who is going to reveal these things to which person let's say i am i am your senior or i am your colleague sitting next to you i saw every time you are on youtube only watching sap fico videos or reading you know sap fico things or any issue that i ask immediately you will google what i am asking you will find google things and then you will tell me i will tell that he doesn't know anything for everything is using youtube google he searching in internet and all the other person will take it in a wrong way they think that you do not know anything everything you are doing based on google so they will not have confidence so they might release us from the project they might remove us from the company also so we never know how things will turn when you are in a project if you are dependent on this documentation material and all because it becomes a habit and it is very very hard to come out of that situation because your mind is completely dependent on the material document t code and all so you will not be able to think on your own at least try if you can do it or not we can't even try if you are habituated to this material documentation kind of things right so whether it is right or wrong you get it or you don't get it just give it a try now nothing is going to happen nobody is going to remove you from project nobody is rejecting from your interview nothing is going to happen just put your effort it becomes a habit slowly maybe one week two weeks you will struggle but slowly you will make it as a habit your mind starts thinking so you will understand okay this is so simple but i could not do it but that is how you will learn it so next time when you get the similar problems you will start thinking in a different way so you start developing different different thoughts you start developing different different ways approaches to resolve a problem otherwise when somebody is talking to us about any problem any functionality we have nothing to explain we have nothing to counter we just have to say okay yes correct okay yes that's it i will check and get back to you okay let me see let me check i'll come back to you only these points we need to talk because we do not know what they are talking and we do not know how do we respond to them these kind of things practically happen when we are in a project when we are in a, any organization if you are not confident how you are working how you are configuring nobody cares nobody is bothering about it 
whether you do your configuration you ask your friends to do your configuration nobody cares but when you have to talk to somebody you need to talk that is what people will notice that is where people is going to judge that this candidate is good this candidate is okay this candidate is not confident he is confident he can do anything these points will come into picture based on your work work style based on the way you talk it's not about you talk left and right you have to talk what is required what is relevant if you do not know we have to keep quiet if you are not talking on the calls on the meetings you are quiet the other person feels you do not know anything the same thing if you are on the other side feel am i correct whatever i am telling so far if i am on this that side if you are a consultant if you are working in a project by looking at me you get a positive impression or a negative impression i'm not talking i'm quiet whatever you ask you know i'm telling i will check and tell you or the moment you go out i immediately start googling or i call somebody or if i give a simple simple things also i'm taking a time to resolve obviously you get negative thing why this small small things also you are not able to do why you are taking a lot of time for everything and if if i want you to talk to a user talk to a client about a problem or about any issue about a new process functionality you are shivering literally all right these things will happen these things you will experience only when you are in the interview when you are in the project so i don't want any of you to come to that stage so when you are on the interview you should feel that this is very simple when you are on the project you should take it easy like you should know what things will come how you will look at the system whatever you are doing the same thing you will be doing there whatever the errors we are seeing here same errors you will get there whatever the way we are resolving how we are thinking going back okay because of this this is not maintained because of this this is not maintained you maintain this incorrectly how do you correct the things this is the same thing that you are going to do in a project nothing additional to it nothing less than this in fact for your level of experience whatever we are doing is more than enough whatever you are doing now nobody is going to touch at least 60% of it in your interview it's less than that so when you know more things you will feel more comfortable when you are actually on the interview because you do not know what they are going to ask i cannot read your interviewer mind you cannot read the interviewer mind am i correct they might ask anything they might ask simple simple points they might ask very complicated things which i also do not know so you have to be sportive you have to be confident smart enough to handle to manage the things that smartness you have to develop slowly if you do not know you need to manage at least it's it's about one or two minutes you need to handle that agree not not that they will sit with you to configure and then they ask you to show completely on the screen correct huh? it's about one or two minutes you need to manage on that particular topic am i correct yes sir if you know things in a different way if you know about a particular process functionality at high level you can talk the same things you can easily manage with whatever the knowledge you have you don't need to sit and then prepare particularly for your interview when you talk in your interview you have to sound as casual as possible when i say as casual as possible if you talk to your friend you don't use you know the technical words the, the grammatical things and all right you talk casually agree now if the right person is taking your interview for sap fico if the right person is taking your interview for fico the way you talk he will understand you are a trained candidate or you are an experienced candidate because the way trained candidate talks the way experienced candidate talks there is a huge difference because the trained candidate what he will do he will tell only the configuration he will tell only the definition beyond that he will not go am i correct 
you have to do this setting here you have to do this setting here this this you do this will happen this you do this will happen this is used for this purpose whatever the question you ask they will put the nice sentences grammatically they will use the technical word this is used for this purpose this purpose and all but these things will not work out in your interview because it's not the one way interview right this is two way whatever you answer you will get a cross question am i correct correct uh, those who attended interviews already whatever you answer you will get a cross question why like this why not like that why did you do this what was the requirement whether you you did it on your own you took anyone's help anybody got these kind of questions yes sir yes no now for these kind of questions you have to have valid answers you need to have some kind of convincing answers now these answers you can talk only if you talk only if you interact casually in the interview because these are all the generic questions so you you cannot be you know the technical in these kind of questions what was the requirement now your requirement you have to explain in the general terms am i correct agree with me yes sir if i am asking you how do you configure asset accounting you talk to me in the professional way sap technical language i agree with you go to orfa organizational structure define chart of account then we need to define depreciation areas parallel accounting currencies and all you explain i am fine with it but if i ask what is your client requirement what is your client business process how did you manage things so what documentation you have prepared for your this one you have to be casual these are all the generic questions common casual questions the way you answer to these questions will decide whether you have experience or you have proper training proper knowledge or not within 5 minutes of your interview the other person will come to know whether you are a properly trained candidate or you have you are an experienced candidate or you are a casual trained candidate within 5 minutes sometimes you know your interviews will get closed within 10 15 minutes also within 10 15 minutes also your interview will get closed because they understood it's of time it's of no use talking to you they know that you do not know anything you are you are a trained candidate you have no experience you do not have thorough understanding on the topic they'll clearly get to know and then they will close the call within 10 15 minutes they will tell we are done we are good with you you have any questions for me you tell no other questions then i'll tell hr will get back to you nobody will get back to you you have to understand they clearly understood that you have no experience or you do not have confidence you do not have right knowledge with you these things are quite common most of the people who attended interview or if you have anybody who attended interview talk to them you will practically get to know the reality things because majorityly nobody will tell their interview experience even if they tell they will tell in a positive way not in negative way am i correct everybody will tell yeah it was very good i'm hoping that i'll get a job in this that is how everybody will talk nobody will tell that they asked so many crazy questions you know they literally screwed me in the interview they asked different questions which i'm not aware of they asked me so many cross questions i was literally shivering i could not answer anything anybody will tell like this after attending interview very very few very very rare am i correct if you attend interview are you going to tell your real experience to somebody this is what happened or you will manipulate what will you do in general we will manipulate correct huh? am i correct those who already attended interviews yes no so
so in short understood right what you need to do how you need to focus on the things how you need to practice any questions uh, sir uh, uh, in the asset uh, legacy data uh, i mean the ffa underscore cmp uh, in that page uh, i'm not getting my uh, p code sir uh, i mean sorry my company your, code uh, could you please your company uh, code is not appearing there some configuration is missing yes sir. so if your configuration is completely done for your asset code. accounting try once again if you are still not able to do it we will i'll show you tomorrow sir i have been uh, trying uh, from yesterday sir i just thought to ask you yesterday but uh, the class was not happening so. try today also if you are not able to do it tomorrow morning i'll tell you sure sir just list okay. out what points you are checking and then send me that these points i am checking i have checked i have configured this i have configured this i have verified this i have verified this let me know what points you have checked then i'll tell you what point you missed out sure sir okay sir. and after knowing the solution you will be surprised that this is very simple but i could not check this you must have been roaming around the same point which you are missing but you are not noticing that that is that that could be the reason because you would have done all the configurations completely but maybe one or two minor points you may be missing my simple logics this is how exactly you will get problems in the real time it's not that the way you look at the thing you will be able to identify the problem you will see everything is correct but something is tricky there so that is where you have to apply your mind you have to see okay how it has to be what is the requirement then you have to look at it observe it and then you will be able to get different different thoughts okay this may be like this this may be like this i'm sure you will crack it just give one more sure, try sir. you will get it if not i'll show you tomorrow morning okay okay all right then so let me stop this recording